Today what I'm going to be working on is putting in some floor here so that I can frame this wall kind of like that one over there. I've got that piece of insulation sitting there. I'm going to do the same thing right here and then I'm going to come out this way on this little side wall. Stick it out the width of a 2x4 to get ready to frame down that wall also. But that's not happening today because I have a lot of work to do here with the floor. So just got this wall framed up, got this floor put in. And yeah, if you take a look at that, we're well on our way. I am now framed up enough to get the dryer, to put it back in this room and cut the vent next week. That'll be fun. Now, I'm standing down in the hole. This joist here is the one that shows the termite, the worst termite damage. Check this out though. And what's better? It goes all the way down. Looks like there's a little pathway there I can maybe crawl in. Get some better ideas, but that's where the toilet used to be. So I ripped out this baseboard. Got most of these floorboards out, but I still have work to do. But I'm going to be doing a lot of jacking up on the house, it looks like. So fun, fun, fun. It's been a minute since I filmed anything here in the laundry room. What I've been doing over here, say hello to the stairs. This is probably the most neglected room in the house. It's got the potential to be the, uh, the coolest. It'll look really, really nice when we get done with it. But I've been doing a little bit of work over here. As you can see, if I step on this floor, everything bounces. And I've discovered why. I mean, I thought it was termite damage because, I mean, you can see those joists are absolutely rotted. But for down below, rather than bracing this up with bricks and concrete, someone put some wood across that pipe, which that joist rests on. And so whenever you step on this, now that everything's rotten away, it flexes. So I see what I've got to do here now is put in some more bricks, concrete, blocks. Of course, replace these joists that are rotten, or at the very least, sister them up with new wood. Because these joists are the same ones that are over here. And you can see how bad that one is. Whole thing moves, but everything I have worked on, rock solid over here. It's nice. I've hesitated to film a lot of what I've been doing in here because it's taken me quite a long time and it hasn't been very fun or easy or exciting. But what we're dealing with right now, I've still got a hole in this part of the floor in that part of the floor. And I've just sistered this joist and that one. You can see the new lumber right there. And those go down to the other side of the stairs. So carefully go over here. And you can see that's now level. This one's essentially been leveled. But this one here, I'm gonna be sistering up with two pieces of wood, one on either side. You can see how much rot there is. Today we got the wall framed up between the laundry room and the bathroom, and I got the pipes ran from the sink drains and vents. So this has been like six months coming, but we're finally there. So go ahead, and take a look. I'm getting close to running plumbing in here and it's gonna come in from the attic. So you'll notice there's a gas pipe right here. It's kind of gonna follow the same path as the gas pipe but directly above 
in the attic. And then it's gonna come out over here, it's a pipe, and I'm framing in a new wall here. This is gonna be my plumbing and utility control panel. So I've got the first two out of the five studs in here. And what I'm thinking, I have, you can't really tell, there's a hole right there and there are another couple of holes here, which is why I've left this open. And you can see the plumbing, plumbing and gas drain. And there's another unused hole. I'm planning on using that hole to run the water into this wall and have our shut off here, pressure reducing valve. And then it's gonna tee off. One's gonna go down to the other half of the house. And the other one's gonna come up and do that pathway to the water heater.
Okay. Okay, Andy. Okay. <laughs> hey. No. Leave it. Good girl. Nope. Okay. Got this tub we're gonna refinish. It's been sanded with 60 grit, so we're gonna be putting the epoxy coating on it soon. <laughs> 